Sanctification, oh, okay. positional. That's what we are. We are in position, right? Mm -hmm. We are. Okay. You are. Yes, you have assumed the position where he can yes. sanctify you. That means he can run your pocket, yes. pocket everything in there that's not like him, out. out of it. Amen. And he's made ready. Listen to this, sanctification positional. The position of sanctification. Uh -huh. The act of the Holy Spirit taking the believing sinner out of the first Adam. He's getting you out of the sin nature. Oh, no, I'm sorry, he's getting you out of the practice of doing the sin nature. Yes, you, you have been jail broke. He uh, set you free from living like the sinner. Okay. Are you with me? Yes, sir. You ready? Mm -hmm. The act of the Holy Spirit taking the believing sinner out of the first Adam. That first Adam is the result of you being dead in sins and trespasses. That's how you got that. You got that? Right. And placing him into the last Adam, the quickening spirit, Amen. the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? So because he places you with Jesus, you get Jesus. You know how to write this down. Because he places you with Jesus, you get Jesus' righteousness, and you get the life. The born again life, the very life and nature of God. Amen? And this act occurs when that person says yes to Jesus, having present Amen. results. Amen. So, so he's showing you just how much he's doing. Ooh, Even after the initial act of salvation has been performed to get you there, it has Amen. present results. Amen. So when you say yes to Jesus, you, number one, you get justified. Mm -hmm. Number two, you're in a position now where the Holy Spirit is sanctified. Amen. 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 And this is progressive. I don't know why people get born again. They want to, you know, they, they want to rush everybody to be holy. Oh, well, you know, you know, you know, he, he's sin. He's, but this is, this is takes, it takes, it's for progressive. It's progressive. That's what we say. Progressive sanctification. Progressive. Amen. Progressive sanctification. Now, now, don't hide behind that progressive and you know, and, and, you know, try to play on it. Try to make a life back there. He knows. The difference between come on, come on. you That's saying right. yes to him and you resisting the rest purposely resisting the rest. Come on, come on. Make right. it clear. Come on now. Make come it clear. I don't want nobody to say, well, you know, it's, it's, it's progressive. It's progressive. It's progressive. That's why. That's my license. That's my out. No, that's not an out. That's not an out. I mean, not exactly. Not with him. That is not an out. That is not an out. It's progressive. Progressive is the process by which the Holy Spirit eliminates sin from the experience of the believer. Let me read that again. Progressive, the process by which the Holy Spirit eliminates sin from the experience of the believer and produces his fruit gradually and conforming him into the image of the Lord Jesus. Notice how since we've been around here for a couple of years, we're producing fruit gradually. You notice that? We're not as abrasive as we used to be. Mm -hmm. We're not as quick to the trigger as we used to be. Uh, that's progressive sanctification. That is, it, it, it is the act of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Progressively bringing you to be conformed to the very image of Christ. So, when you see someone that is a believer, don't put your self-righteous scrutiny on them and say they're not there yet. They're not holy. Oh, don't do that. That's not good. That ain't good. That ain't good. It's not good because, number one, you're not there. Come on, I just don't look at you. Yeah. Like it. Just yourself. Amen. Don't worry, y'all. You see. They're not under your arrest. Thank you. You see, that's what bothers me about folks that you know that they they, they call this stuff, try to pick with God's people that he put in the pool pit and pick with God's people that he put in cues and listen to the people in the pool pit. What they're doing is they are they are usurping. 
divine authority. When you mess with the saint in their position of arrest, it's called obstruction of divine justice. You're getting in God's way. You're getting in his way of doing what he do with <laughs> because you're too busy yourself trying to join in there and try to put your hand in it when God said, wait a minute, I got Bobby. I got Bobby. <laughs> you ain't even got yourself. I got you too. <laughs> when it's time for me to, when it's time for me to move Bobby out of that particular area, okay. hey, Bobby don't yield. Okay. Amen. And as a matter of fact, you have been cited for obstruction. Oh, you're getting it in the way. You're getting in the way of me working with the people. That's my servant. I call him to myself. And if I call him to myself, I can do something with him. If I can save him and bring him in here, I can do something with him. So get out of God's way while he got his folks under arrest. It's yeah, called obstruction will. of divine justice. He gonna yeah. fix me. He gonna fix me. He gonna fix me. He gonna fix me. He gonna fix me. Now that he don't, the rest he'll send it on. Get out of my way. Oh, so yeah. those of you that's white gloving folks, yeah. come picking on, with man. folks, gossiping with folks, running folks down in the house of God, you are cited for obstruction of divine justice. You're getting in the Holy Spirit's way. Come on, and not your servant. The his service. Amen. 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 And they have Amen. to answer to him, Amen. not to you. <laughs> Amen. 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 Know ye not that we shall stand before the judgment seat, oh. not of you, but of Christ. Yeah. Come on. Oh. You're in God's I way. Stop all that. Stop it. Come on, come on. Come Amen. On. Get yeah, out come there. here. 19% sugar. 13% sugar over here. Right. 16% sugar. Don't measure up. No, no, no. <laughs> I tell you what. When you measure yourself up to Jesus, right. let me see how far. Come on, come on, come on. What? Yeah, Stop measuring yourself up by one another.